Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my winter slash Christmas body care collection. I'm going to put it all on the bed for you guys and kind of go through everything that I have. But just for a warning, I really haven't bought a lot um, for this year besides like minis. I bought one full size body care set, but I really didn't buy a lot of Christmas stuff this year because I had a lot left over from last year. So you're going to see a lot of stuff um, that's in last year's packaging and that is why. Um, but yeah, I'm slowly working through my collection. I did just want to share with you guys before Christmas, kind of a, a little look into my Christmas collection, but yeah, let's go ahead and get on into the video. Okay. Here is a quick overview of everything that I have for my winter slash Christmas body care collection. So I actually have a few things that are like the same scent. So I try to group them together the most uh, the scent that I have the most of is Christmas cookies. So I have the Fine Fragrance Mist, the Body Cream, Body Lotion, and Shower Gel all from last year. Scent notes of this one are Creamy Cookie Dough, Almond Biscotti, and Caramel Woods. So they brought this one out for the second time last year, and I assumed that they would never bring it back again, but they did bring it back this bring it back this year. So um, I stocked on this, stocked up on this scent for no reason, but that's okay because I really enjoy it. I have this one in my shower right now, so I've been really enjoying Christmas cookies, and that's my collection of that. But I do have this native uh, sugar cookie uh, shower gel, so I've been having this in my shower so far, and I really do like it. I find that their scents don't really linger, but they definitely get me clean, and they feel good on the body. But the scent is not the strongest, but I did want to include that in here because it is a sugar cookie scent and I just wanted to have this little family over here. I have two different forms of coconut mint drop. This one only came out last year and I am obsessed. It is such a beautiful scent. It's amazing. I really like this holographic packaging they did last year. I thought it was so cool. Scent notes are white coconut ice peppermint and winter musk. I'm about to start using this body cream so it doesn't go bad, but oh my gosh, this scent is to die for. It is like an Andes mint. It smells so yummy. So I really, really enjoy this. And I usually don't like coconut scents, so this one is amazing. Oh my God, so good. If you can get it off of Mercari, I definitely recommend it. I used up the lotion and the shower gel that I had in it last year already, so I don't have those anymore, but it's so good. Next, we have my staple Vanilla Bean Noel. So lately it has not been the strongest scent, which is fine, I guess, because it still smells like Vanilla Bean Noel to me. Um, there's something missing, I think. The scent notes have changed over the years. Now it is fresh vanilla bean, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. I think the caramel is new and they took out something else. So it's not quite the Vanilla Bean Noel that we all grew up with, oops, that we all grew up with, but it still is a Vanilla Bean Noel. It still has, you know, that scent to it that we all know and love. It's just not super strong. And for that, I did not pick up any this year. Um, I'm just gonna try and finish up the stuff that I have from last year. And this one actually is still sealed, but I'm still gonna keep this lotion because this is one of my all time favorite scents from Bath and Body Works. And I just love it for the nostalgia factor. So I'm gonna stay on all the full size ones and then we'll go to the minis. So I do have these two mists from Pink, um, from Victoria's Secret Pink from last year. I have Vanilla Swirl, Frosted Vanilla Sugar Crystals. It smells really good. It's honestly just a super simple, sweet vanilla scent. If you've ever smelled somebody who was in your high school who sprayed themselves down with Victoria's Secret Pink mists in high school, this is what they smelled like most likely it is just like a very sweet simple vanilla scent super amazing honestly a really really nice scent and then we have whipped dream cake sprinkles and vanilla caramel this one i'm using currently actually it is on my project use it up for the winter it is really nice um i've gotten some good progress on it here's a little sneak peek for you guys so i've been loving it honestly it's really good it's also a simple scent but that caramel is so good it just makes it a little more unique than Vanilla Swirl with that like warm caramel scent. I've been told this is pretty similar to, um, what is that one? Bonfire Bash from Bath & Body Works. So if you like that one, they do have this one. I don't know if they brought this back out this year, but these two are from last year. And then I do have a few peppermint scents. So I have the Aromatherapy Peppermint Essential Oil Lotion. 
I haven't really used it too much, but it is in my project pan. So I've been trying to use it as a hand lotion. I just put it next to my hand soap and there's a little pump. So it's perfect to do like right after you put on, uh, right after you finish washing your hands. So I do like the scent. It's pretty simple peppermint. And then we have twisted peppermint, which has a little bit more vanilla than this uh, essential oil one. Uh, scent notes are cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, and fresh balsam. I don't know what sugared snow smells like. It just smells like sugar, maybe, I guess. But um, I don't really get any balsam to this one. I'm not sure why they like to put, like, balsam in things that it's not really in. But to me, it's really just, like, peppermint and vanilla. Okay, next from this year is vanilla mocha cream. So I fell in love with, in love with this one in the fall of last year. It is a beautiful, amazing scent. The notes are cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. Honestly, such an amazing scent. It's super cozy and inviting, and it just kind of smells like home to me. I don't know. This one invokes a lot of good feelings for me personally. I think just because most of last year we were spent in the house, so when I had this in the fall of last year, um, I used it really only like at home for myself. I wasn't really using it for like to please others because I literally wasn't going outside. I wasn't doing much, so it just reminds me of that time when I was home, relaxing with my family, spending time with them. That's the only good thing about the pandemic, honestly, was that I spent a lot more time with my parents. I do live at home with my parents, so this just kind of makes me feel like home. So I really, really enjoy this scent. That was a little bit of a tangent, but let me know down below if you have any scent that reminds you of home, that makes you feel like welcome and warm and cozy. Let me know down below because I'm actually really curious. That That is something beautiful about the power of smell and we are so lucky and blessed that we are able to smell because I know there are people who are not and I am so sorry for that but there's some there's some sort of memory aspect that goes with scent and I I just thoroughly enjoy that it's just so cool okay sorry for like the existential stuff but anyways vanilla mocha cream I have it in the body cream the shower gel and the body lotion so those three right there and I do still have it in the shower I mean sorry in the body spray I just didn't pull it out because it technically is a fall scent from last year, but I do still have last year's spray. So um, next I have Winterberry Wonder in two forms. I have it in the shower gel from last year. Scent notes are Ruby Frost, Winterberry, Sparkling Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla. This one smells really good. It really just smells like sugared cranberry. It's a really, really nice, pretty scent. They usually come out with it every year. I don't think they came out with it this year. Um, but this is last year's packaging. And then I also have it in the body butter, which I have in my project pan right now. So just trying to get some use out of it. It's a beautiful formula and a really nice scent. So I did have these two one-off products. So I do have winter candy apple by itself in the shower gel. Scent notes are candy red apple, winter rose petals, candied orange, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. This is last year's scent. I don't get any cinnamon and I don't get any maple leaf. But I definitely get some red apple, orange, and rose. It's a very pretty, like, sophisticated kind of scent versus, like, Vanilla B. Noel or Twisted Peppermint. I feel like this one's a little more sophisticated, but really gorgeous scent. I have it in my shower right now, and I'm really loving it. Just like It just, like, reminds me of winter. And then I have Twinkling Nights, which technically is not a, like, Christmas scent, but I think of it as, like, a New Year's um, slash winter scent because I got this last year during SAS um, in the winter time so it just reminds me of winter the scent notes are frosted jasmine petals whipped vanilla and mandarin blossom it's honestly a beautiful scent it's almost like perfume if they had twinkling nights in the perfume I would buy it because it is such a beautiful and like simple scent and I don't like any florals but this one just has um, jasmine and jasmine to me is the only floral that I can actually like tolerate um, I have asthma and it kind of sometimes triggers that also triggers like headaches for me. So sometimes I can't do, um, florals, but Jasmine for me is the only thing that I can do. So it says never miss a moment to make a wish under the twinkling night sky. But yeah, I, I definitely think, I definitely think that this is a winter scent. Um, I feel like they come out with it every winter SAS. So if you see this again, definitely get it. I've already gone through the, um, body lotion in this as well and it's really good so highly recommend that one so now we're going to go into some minis so the first thing I have is hot cocoa and cream in the body cream and the hand cream I really think this packaging is adorable for this past year I love the snowflakes on it um okay they don't give us any scent notes I just realized so there's no notes on this one but 
it smells exactly like the hot cocoa and cream candle. It just smells like powdered chocolate. Mm, it is such a beautiful scent. I don't think I'd ever pick it up in a full size, but I do like to pick it up every year in a um, mini because it's just so nice. It's, it's like a really cute scent and just like fun novelty. And then I have cotton candy champagne from this year. That is the love um, scent. And this one also doesn't have any fragrance notes, but I think it's like strawberries, Prosecco, something else. It kind of smells like champagne toast, but also boardwalk taffy, but also strawberry pound cake, but also, um, what was that pink one from the fall? Oh my gosh, I can't think of it. I can't think of what the pink one was from the fall, but all of those ones like smell the same. And this one smells like it too. It's just like a nice, sweet candy scent. So I have those two. And then I have these little mini lotions. I have Merry Christmas Raspberry Sugar. And this one I haven't actually used yet. It's brand new. Let me give it a whiff. I have smelled it before, but I kind of forgot what it smells like. But I've heard really good things about this scent and it smells pretty good. It kind of just smells like raspberry. So I feel like this is gonna be a good one to transition from winter to spring. And then we have a Merry Christmas iced cinnamon rolls. Oh, they're both Merry Christmas. Okay, sorry, just realized that. This one, I don't really get iced cinnamon rolls. I just get like a little bit of a bakery scent with a little, I mean, maybe a tad bit of cinnamon, like a dash of cinnamon, but that's all I get from this one. Just really cute novelty items and I never tried these scents, so I wanted to try them. And then I do have a Merry Cookie hand cream. I love this hand cream. I love this scent. And yeah, it's just a really good one. I had to pick up another one. Um, I used like three of them last year during the winter time and I just really enjoy them. So pick that up. And then we have some pocket backs here. The first two are toasted vanilla chai. We have iced cinnamon rolls, vanilla bean noel, winter candy apple, frosted coconut snowball, and twisted peppermint. I've been using this one um, right here. I think I have a second one that is currently hanging from my purse. Um, and it's so, so yummy. This honestly is like the best scent for a hand sanitizer. And then I did want to pull this little guy out because I actually forgot that I got him and I need to cut the tag off and put him on my purse because I only have like one more week of wear of him. I'm probably still going to wear him uh, up until like February maybe because he has the hearts on him for Valentine's Day. So we'll see, but he's just super cute. He's a little pocket back holder. So I'm about to replace the one on my purse with, with this little guy. Yeah, he's super cute. He was only $3.95. If you can find him um, at SAS, he's probably only going to be like a dollar. So definitely recommend him. He's super cute. So that's everything for my winter body care. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below. Like I said, do you have a scent that invokes like a scent memory for you that reminds me my, reminds you of home? Um, or do you have like a favorite scent for Christmas time? For me, I think right now it's been Coconut Mint Drop and it was the same one last year too. It's just like such a good scent. I really love it. They need to bring it back next year, but that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!